Hey, I'm Taylor Brown. I'm Hannah Spring. And I'm Caitlin Kisilowski. And we're Cumberland nursing students. We chose to do our research over education to combat adolescent e-cigarette use. So the reason we chose this is there was an increase in vaping and e-cigarette use, especially in youth. So we were wondering if there was a way that nurses could impact um, and affect that through education. Um, our, ed or our evidence based question is in high school students aged 14 to 18, does education on the risks and complications from e cigarettes impact their intent to use on this population? And um, in this review, we examined whether education influenced the intent to try e cigarettes in adolescents. The research databases we used were Google Scholar and CINAHL through Cumberland University Vice Library. Um, this literature review was conducted utilizing the health belief model, which mainly recognizes how each person reacts and interprets a health condition based on health um, related behaviors and the perceived susceptibility to developing that illness. So we looked at five studies and they all showed that an increase in knowledge about the harmful effects of e-cigarettes caused a decrease in intent to use. This research is important because education and health promotion is a major key and skill that all nurses should have in their daily interventions, um, especially when associated with youth. Um, the nurses we play or we will play a vital role in in health promotion and providing um, evidence based education, um, especially on this topic of the use of e cigarettes to critically improve the health of adolescents. Um, School-age children have a decreased intention to try e e electronic cigarettes when educated about the harmfulness and addictiveness of them. Um, this was proven to, to be when we reviewed the literature. Um, it, uh, we nurses can utilize the health belief model to guide educational programs and interventions um, on perceived threats and alter the individual's perception of the harmfulness of e-cigarettes. Um, with this, though, there needs to be continued research, and it should be done to assess which teaching model is most effective in reducing the intent to try e-cigarettes. Thank you.